This is the uh, vlog for um, what is today, February 5th, 2019. We're in the final stretch now. It's uh, only going to be about two weeks uh, until I finish this project. And speaking of finished projects, Today, I put the last finishing touches on the Word document version of my book. Now, I think I've mentioned before that I do most of my writing in OneNote. And because of that, despite having written, at this point, two books, uh, I don't know Word quite as well as I probably should as a writer. Uh, I understand most people use that as their default writing uh, word processor. I know I certainly did when I was in school. But um, the way I write with all the notes that I'm constantly referencing, all the places and names and, you know, outlines and all these things, uh, it just makes more sense for me to use OneNote itself. And then when I'm finished, take everything in OneNote and put it into a Word document. Now, when I did that with my original manuscript, um, I actually took the Word document down to a Kinko's and printed the whole thing out. And that was when I realized exactly how massive a tome it really was. Uh, I couldn't believe my eyes when they handed it back. I had not really... How do I put this? I vaguely looked at the page count when I was um, getting it ready and realized it was like over 400. But until you are holding a 400-page spiral-bound book in your hand, you don't really get a sense for how much paper that is, how much information that is. And um, sadly, it's now defunct. I mean, uh, that particular manuscript is just not going to be viable with this one. It needs to be rewritten pretty heavily, and it needs to be shrunk down. So, I believe I gave it to my sister to read, and she never gave it back. I don't know if she even finished it. But, um, I put a lot more work into this one today, because this was a much more... I, I feel the pressure now to actually go out and get this into the world. And so I wanted to make sure that it was nice, and that you could use words functions to sort of navigate it. It has headings for chapters so that you can use the sidebar to just quickly get through. It has a table of contents. It is 156 pages as a Word document, uh, which is considerably less than 400 if you are keeping track. Um, I don't know if there's something wrong with me that I really got into it today. Like, I was having fun um, just sort of going through and doing all the stuff that I needed to do to sort of complete it. And, of course, I found little things that I wanted to change as I was doing it. It's frustrating, and I know that I need to have it put... I need to put it in front of the editors and have them tell me what I need to do, rather than just keep going through and changing things and changing things and changing things. <sighs> but, um... A couple other things... I went through and did a, a mass um, find and replace of all of the uh, M dashes, essentially, that I've made. Um, I don't use M dashes normally because this uh, laptop doesn't do alt codes. Um, most laptops that don't have a numpad cannot do alt codes in order to... Um, use special characters and the M dash does count as a special character. So I just use two hyphens. Uh, but Word has a fantastic feature where you can find every instance of a certain word or, in this case, pair of hyphens and replace them with something else. So I went through and replaced all the M dashes. Now, this created a small problem, because of course it does, in that I also use uh, narrative breaks where I sort of indicate within a chapter that something has happened, time has passed, essentially. And that is three hyphens. And... I need to stop doing that. <laughs> what I did was I went through and I, because the three hyphens, when I did the find and replace, 
it took the two first hyphens and turned them into an M dash and then left the final hyphen, which looks really weird. And um, what I did instead is I put three asterisks in a row and then also centered it so that it creates a more even looking image on the page. Um, and I had to do the centering manually after I did the find and replace of something nearly 40 of these within the book. There's only 39 chapters and I don't, definitely don't have one in every chapter, so that's sort of interesting. Um, so yeah, I just spent like another five or ten minutes doing that. But this is all good. It makes me feel good to finally get somewhere with this and have a means of, you know, I can start sending it to publishers. I could start sending it to publishers tomorrow. I probably will. Um, because I'm not really going anywhere. <laughs> the snow remains. Uh, we got the, the eight inches yesterday. It didn't snow today. It was bright and sunny through most of the day, and it's supposed to be the same tomorrow. I'm thinking I might actually go out and go for a walk uh, again, hoping that the sidewalks maybe got cleared out a bit, or at the very least the snow isn't quite as nasty. I might walk in the street a bit, but then I put myself at the risk of being hit by crazy drivers. It's a struggle, but um, I feel good, and I haven't felt this good in a while. I feel hopeful, and I'm Eric Scornitz, as always. Tomorrow will be better.